Airwave, a company launched last year that looks to operate in the decentralized wireless network space, closed its seed funding round, raising $3 million from an undisclosed group of blockchain venture capitalists. That's not a huge number compared to Helium's $111 million ICO last year, and still an unimpressive number compared to Helium's Series A funding round back in 2014 that raised $16 million. And that was before the US dollar was printed into oblivion. However, this company appears to be targeting the space that Helium is currently dominating, and they seem to be approaching the business model from a slightly different angle. Maybe Helium could learn a thing or two, or maybe not. Let's take a look in today's video. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on the Crypto Compound channel. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you're having a great day. Please hit that like and subscribe on the way in. It really helps support the channel and I will really, really appreciate it. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at Airwave Project. As you can see here, Airwave Project nabs $3 million for blockchain powered network deployments. This is a very new company targeting the area that Helium is currently dominating the wireless decentralized network space. There are a few very very interesting quirks and features about this project that are different than Helium's and there are a few things on this website that are particularly interesting. There is even a calculate income button here on their website which we will get to later in today's video. As you can see here, here is the announcement of the $3 million seed round being closed here on their website. It is undisclosed who the group is. However, they are considered a terrific group of blockchain VCs. Uh, however, it is getting some notoriety here. Uh, even though they are a new company, they do obviously have an idea that is very similar to Helium's, which of course is the right direction to be headed moving into the future with regards to connectivity. Now, even though this $3 million is not very significant, it is very interesting to note here that as you can see, the Silicon Valley startup was founded by Jeff Yee, a former AT&T and ZTE executive. So these people must know what they're doing. They definitely are not just some group of people who are jumping into the space. If you were a former AT&T executive, it is very interesting to see that this is the type of business model you are approaching. It is also rather interesting why you would not just try and join Helium's team. Perhaps they think they can do it better, and there are a few things on this website that are very different than how Helium works. We will get to all of this in today's video. Now, guys, I wanna point out the main difference here that I am noticing between what Airwave Project is looking to do and what Helium does, and it can be shown right here. It says, in this announcement, Airwave said, it will use the funds to deploy a unique platform to create decentralized wireless broadband networks where they are needed. The key here is where they are needed because if we look at their website, you can see hosts and on the host page, you can actually check an address. And if you check your address, I just checked mine and you check the address, I was told that my location is not desirable. So it seems as though this project or this company is actually targeting specific locations. Whereas with Helium, it is looking to be deployed globally, no matter where you are, it is looking to provide access and network coverage across the entire globe rather than just in specific areas. So that is one very interesting key difference. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Now, if we go down a little farther in this news release, we can see that according to the Airwave Project website, the company hopes to begin integrations with the network operators during the first quarter of 2022. By the end of this year, the company hopes to launch a token reward that it said would encourage users to build and maintain a decentralized last mile Rewards are generated for validated broadband connections, encouraging future growth. So as you can see, they are approaching a similar incentive model where rewards are given to some sort of host or validator that can validate the broadband connectivity, encouraging future network growth, which is very, very similar to how Helium operates. Of course, Helium is built on the incentives that drive the network, that drive people to actually build out the network in their own homes. As you can see, there is a little model here that is taken from the Airwave website. The most interesting thing about this piece here is that it says here, tokens used to purchase equipment and services to build networks. Now, as we know, in for Helium, h and is rewarded as an incentive to people who provide coverage through hotspots. However, it seems as though in this structure, tokens from the network can actually be used to purchase equipment, which is not possible in 
the helium ecosystem. So that is a little bit interesting. The rest of this appears to be rather identical to what helium does. Tokens, tokens are distributed to the network creators. Internet connections are reported. That's sort of like someone, if someone was a miner and then validators confirm connections and mine tokens. So very similar to helium. And as you can see, they even do reference helium here just below this image. As you can see, Airwave appears to be trending toward the business model used by startup helium for IoT and more recently 5G. Helium uses a blockchain-based cryptocurrency to reward users for installing Helium-compatible network access points. The amount of cryptocurrency that users can receive is based on the amount of network traffic that flows over their equipment. It's always so interesting to see how people actually describe Helium. Sometimes it's very accurate. Other times it's extremely vague and not really totally true. It's just so interesting to see how it is referenced. But of course, this website is sort of dedicated to networks, broadband connectivity, 5G, stuff like that. So it is very interesting to see that they are already comparing this new company to Helium. It's going to be very interesting to see how this company develops over time. Now, if we jump over here to the Helium website, we can see certain things. Of course, Helium is much more further developed with over half a million hotspots already deployed. However, anywhere you go here on the Helium website, there's a very very clear uh, roadmap of how the network works, how it can be used, all of those sorts of things. And it's very clear even how you earn everything is really outlaid extremely nicely on Helium's website. Now that comes in stark contrast to Airwave's website here, which really doesn't explain how things work. I guess that part of the project really isn't solidified just yet. However, guys, there is one very interesting piece on their website that actually discusses 5G directly. It references the amount of jobs created by 5G, which is rather interesting. I think that really puts a magnifying glass on the value of 5G in the connectivity community. Now guys, there is one thing here that Airwave project has on their website that Helium does not. And I honestly think it's good that it doesn't. However, we're going to go through this. It is very interesting. And I don't know how they're, I don't know how it's calculated or where they're coming up with these numbers, but let's take a look here. If we go to the calculate income button, and now I'll put a link to the description to this website so you can do this yourself. It is rather interesting, but we're going to go through this exercise and see what we get. So as you can see, where do you want the wireless access point installed? I'm going to consider this as if you were doing it buying a helium hotspot. So I'll say on my property, I have the rights to install. Do you want to build and operate a wireless network? As you can see here, there's a difference between a host and an operator. We're going to just go with host. It sounds more like a helium hotspot host. So I'm just going to say no, I want to be paid to host access points. How many properties will you install access points? Let's just say one for now. And here we go. Net income over five years, $9,400. Uh, you can earn a bit of money, they say. As you can see here, they're calculating the income as $2,400 a year and a large upfront expense with $120 in operating expenses after year one for a net income after five years of almost $10,000. Now, there really is no backing as to how this happens, what in what is entailed in this $2,120. Uh, there's really not much information. I've been looking through this website for a bit, uh, for a good amount of time, and I really haven't found anything that points to how you're actually earning this $2,400. I don't even think they have any sort of a token or cryptocurrency available just yet. Uh, but it is very interesting to see they do have a similar business model to Helium. Who knows if they will have any success? We don't even know if they're creating the hotspots or if they are being created uh, by third party manufacturers and being sold to people that way, just like Helium. So it is going to be interesting to see if this evolves, if it takes off. Of course, $3 million, as I mentioned in the intro, is not a tremendous amount of money here. However, the space is tremendous. So there are room for multiple players. Uh, and it does seem like these people are targeting only only certain areas, which is rather interesting. Of course, here is the A16Z $100 million token sale for Helium from August of last year. That is in stark contrast to the $3 million Series A that these guys just raised. But guys, I wanted to share this with you. I thought it was very interesting to see that people are out there creating very similar projects and businesses, um, and they do have slightly different business models. Let me know what you guys think about this, if you think it'll take off, if you think there'll ever be a crypto surrounding Airwave, and if you would be interested in purchasing it, if it does. Let me know your guys' thoughts below, if you guys have heard about this or you know anything else about it. I'd be very interested to hear and learn more. Thank you guys for watching, that is all 
all I have for today's video. Please make sure to hit that like and subscribe if you have not already, but just like that, this video is over and I'll see you next.